But in its prime, it was the best place in the world to play. The best place in the world. I'd never seen anything like it. I'd never heard anything like it. The Grandy was definitely louder than Love. Love was on seven, the Grandy was on ten. The Grandy Ballroom, you know, it changed the, the face of music. Whatever happened in Detroit in those days relative to rock and roll music was centered on the Grandy Ballroom. Case closed. The dream of musical emotion and outrage and uninhibitedness and just brutal honesty by any stretch of the imagination is alive and well all these years later. And the Grandy Ballroom played a big role in solidifying that for me. Detroit's Fillmore was the Grandy. That was it. At that time and place, that was that was where you wanted to be. Man, if I got a gig at the Grandy, it was like, oh, tell everybody, come on, you know because uh, that was what's happening, you know? It was a legend. It still is a legend. The Grandy Ballroom opened the floodgates of musicality genius. Bands like Canned Heat, Three Dog Night, Chuck Berry, Grateful Dead, Muddy Waters, Jeff Beck, Joe Cocker, Paul Butterfield, Cream, get out of here, John Mayall, James Cotton, The Birds, Fleetwood Mac, Johnny Hooker, Rod Stewart, Vanilla Fudge, Led Zeppelin, Musical Pinnacles on a regular basis. When The Who came to the Grandy and they were acknowledged for what they really, really were, kept the band from just breaking up. If that Grandy show had not happened, they would have just gone back to England and quit. And they stood up, man, and they yelled. I never had this happen before. The kids was yelling and screaming, B.B. King and what? I was very happy. I have never been treated that well before. Not on the stage. I know that the Grandy was an influence all over the world and it still influences young musicians today. I've got a bootleg of Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention at the Grandy Ballroom. Anything could happen at any given moment. Something could break. Somebody could get hurt. That was very appealing to us, that dangerous element. And I said, wow, what's that? And they said, that is the gospel. You know, they said, you better, you better get the Stooges and MC5 under your belt, son, because that's, that's a big deal in the Black Flag camp. I said, okay. The MC5's music has been a huge influence on me. Um, they were really like the original political punk band. That was the heaviest rock and roll band I'd heard, uh, you know, ever when I was a kid. Well, Detroit's where a lot of the influences from Motorhead came from, actually, because of the MC5, you know, because they were the only band doing that kind of thing back then. Grandy changed me profoundly. What the Grandy represented was um, the birth of a culture. They were coming out of, hey, you can just be happy, dance, run around, obey your parents, but maybe you could do your own thing. It's like a tea kettle, you know, it's going to seep out some way, but the uh, Grandy let it kind of the top come off and the steam come out. There were all these kids wanting to hang out somewhere that knew what was going on in San Francisco and LA and they wanted to be part of something. You knew you had just sort of stepped into another world. Uh, you really left everything else behind. There weren't any backstage passes uh, per se. They didn't have any restrictions. If you wanted to walk in the dressing room and you know help Jeff Beck tune his guitar, you could. We know you guys are better than this. Come on, you know, give us some more. Come on, Janice, you know. Kick out the jam. Kick out the jams, mother... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> as soon as you hear that, as many times as I've played that with him, I, I get chills. Kick out the jams is maybe like in the top two or three rockingest songs of all time. That's the Detroit uh, municipal anthem, I would say. Kick out the jams. And I wasn't totally aware of the impact it was having. I, I knew it had some impact, but not to the degree that 40 years later people still talking to me about it. It was the intensity of what the five and the SRC, as we were learning about Hendrix and learning about what the Stones were better conveying to us in the Faces and the Cream and the Who and Zeppelin and Jeff Beck showed us. It was one of the world's great music schools. So it was the best time of my life. And I am a part of the history of the Grandy. And proud of it. I done kicked them out! God bless the ghost of the Grandy.